Somehow becoming one of the most iconic characters of my childhood, Flat Eric is an obscure and vintage treasure that just has to be talked about. Who and what is this Muppet-esque creature that captured the nation? In order to find out, we'll have to travel all the way back to the 90s. Flat Eric's story begins in 1998, when Quentin de Pieux, aka Mr. Oizo, a French filmmaker and electronic musician, created a short film to promote his latest album. The character seen in this video could easily be mistaken for Flat Eric, but is in fact his predecessor, referred to as Stéphane, reflecting his French roots. Although the body shape and general colour scheme is the same, the differences include Stefan's large ears, making him closely resemble a monkey, the white patch on his stomach, his orange head as opposed to yellow, and a rounded nose instead of the triangular one seen on Flat Eric. This situation can be likened to the relationship between Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and Mickey Mouse, with the former serving as inspiration for the latter, before being quietly brushed under the rug. A year later, in 1999, the popular clothing company Levi's, known for its denim jeans, approached Oizo, putting forward the idea of building a television commercial campaign around the puppet, to be directed by Oizo. For this high-budget campaign, the puppet was redesigned so that it could be differentiated from the Stefan character, though Oizo was still keen to retain the aesthetic of his original puppet. To my surprise, the company hired to construct what would become Flat Eric was none other than the Jim Henson Company. Henson, of course, being the creator of the Muppets. The character was renamed Eric, which was deemed a more international name in contrast to the aforementioned French stereotype of Stéphane. The concept for the initial advertisement was to have Eric's head be run over by a car, leaving him with a flat head. Although this idea never came to fruition, likely due to its violent connotations, the name Flat Eric stuck with the character. This led to Flat Eric's iconic debut in his most memorable advert, as he headbangs to Mr. Oizo's flat beat in the passenger seat of a car. Alongside French actor Philippe Petit, whose character is named Angel, with the unlikely pair being wanted criminals on the run, because why not? But how does this relate to Levi's jeans, you may ask? This element comes into play when the duo is stopped by a police officer, who searches the vehicle. Upon opening the boot and seeing an assortment of freshly pressed shirts and jeans, the officer appreciates their fashion sense, allowing the pair to carry on without hesitation. Following the ad's success, Flat Eric gained somewhat of a cult following, being especially popular in the UK and France, and so the ad campaign continued throughout 1999, putting the characters into various comedic predicaments as they evaded the law, with the ad sometimes carrying little to no meaning at all. But the public loved Flat Eric, which leads to the most logical next step, merchandising. Mr. Oizo's album Flatbeat sold millions of copies, at one point reaching number one in the charts. This resulted in an official music video being produced, starring Flat Eric, as he sits in an office eating hot dogs and blasting the iconic beat down the phone. This is the first time we hear Flat Eric speak, if you could call it that, with fans noting he speaks analogue. Wow. The sound is almost identical to that made by Stefan in the first ever short film, linking the characters further. The unique way Flat Eric communicates is something that I always thought was a really cool and clever idea, being associated with Mr. Oizo's tracks to such an extent that he literally blurts out the beat. Flat Eric plush toys lined the shelves of toy shops that year ranging from full-size to miniature renditions of the iconic puppet. As a child, I became fascinated with the character after coming across the smaller plush, which once belonged to my older brother. From there, I requested a full-size version for my birthday, and was overjoyed when I received not one, but two. Miraculously, several months later, 
A third flat rig was unearthed in the garage, being my brother's original, larger version, which had been under my nose the entire time. As an extra piece of trivia, the aforementioned larger flat Eric plush appeared as a background prop throughout season one of the UK TV series, The Office. The iconic puppet isn't referred to by name, merely serving as a bit of mise-en-scene to show the eccentric nature of Ricky Gervais's character. So yeah, that's a brief history of this unique 90s puppet. Will we ever see the return of Flat Eric adverts? Seems unlikely, but one thing's for sure, the legacy of this character isn't going away anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, feel free to leave your thoughts down below. Any likes and especially subscribers are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.